Well, Leon, you took the opportunity of uh, bringing a lot of your team here to Mooney Valley and a terrific surface. Oh, look, we, we couldn't ask for a better surface. Uh, I, th I thought the track was terrific this morning. You know, uh, all the horses seemed to handle it very, very good, so it was great. Especially the mare, she really relished it. Uh, she had a nice hit out, good clean blow, uh, and pulled up and recovered really good. It was impressive work, wasn't it? She looks fine-tuned and ready to go for the 1,000 metres. Yeah, well, she was getting home, I don't, you know, a little bit susceptible at the 1,000. I don't know whether, whether she's quite quick enough. Um, I think there's quite a bit of speed in the 1,000. Look, but as long as she's getting home, I'll be really happy. So that's a pass mark for her with the speed on, hit the line strongly and then move onwards. Uh, what's the next step after that if she comes through that well? Well, look, if I'm really, really pleased with her, I reckon we'll head towards uh, Flemington and head for the Let's Elope. OK. Um, she looks to have put on what size. We saw you at the exhibition gallop she had here a couple of weeks ago. She looked terrific then and she looks like she's really improving. Look, I think she's muscling uh, nicely all the time and she's getting better and better, like, you know, so uh, hopefully we're doing the right thing by her. A uh, mile then plus. Uh, back of your mind, do you think the Cox Plate's the race for her? Um, you're always hoping, which, uh, you know, uh, um, the miles is far, 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 the further she's gone at this stage. Um, I thought she settled nice in the guineas, so let's hope she'll settle nice in a mile and a quarter, so everything's wait and see. Okay, she gets a new partner, of course. She, she's had Damien Oliver, she's had Michael Ride now, she gets Craig Williams. So you're, you're dealing with the elite. Uh, I think I'm privileged. Yeah, <laughs> can't wait to see her. Tell us a couple of other runners. Um, firstly, you have nominated Alpha Proxima. Would he back up again? No, I definitely won't. He felt that run a little bit uh, Saturday. He just sort of jarred up a little bit after. It was a good three. Uh, it was quite different to when he won here at the Valley, like, you know, different sort of race. Um, I think I'll wait a couple of weeks for, for him. OK, uh, the gallops today. Now, ready as hell. Uh, uh, fresh for 29 weeks, we haven't seen her, but we know she flies at the valley and she looks like she's going well. Yeah, look, really pleased with her. Still had a really good blow and uh, just took a little while to recover, so I might just find a nice little uh, barrier drive for her somewhere and uh, give her another pipe open before we produce her. Okay, so she'll be, what, two or three weeks away from racing? Yeah, I think she'll be, be, be about another three weeks. Lady Antebellum, also another one that loves the valley. Is she getting ready for 9.55 races here? <laughs> Yeah, look, she's only a little thing. Um, she's going really good and very pleased with her. Oh, we'll just wait and see. Look, you know, if there's a nice mare's race that comes up here at the valley, no doubt we'll head towards it. Is she a little more forward uh, than uh, Ready as Hell? Uh, I think they're on about an even par. OK. Um, Leia, we only seen once. Uh, we saw her at sale and she showed a lot of ability. She's been nom for some of the big races. Uh, has she improved as a three-year-old filly, you think? Oh, look, I've no doubt she's improved immensely. Um, but we did have her in work a long, long time. She was very, very hard work last time in. I think at one stage there when we had in the barriers, I think she just about all but picked them up, like, you know, and waltzed away with them. Um, she settled down a hell of a lot more this time around. But she, once again, she definitely needed another barrier trial. She had a good hit out and uh, had quite a good blowout after. OK, she's heading towards the 1,000 guineas. That's the ultimate aim with her? Well, we're hoping she's good enough to head there. Okay. Snitsum comes back to the races. Uh, can't wait to see him. When will we see him? Um, he's another one. Had a, he's still a stallion and he's sort of just taken a little while to come to, come to hand. Uh, he definitely needs another barrier trial before he, he gets to the races. Okay. And what races have you got in store for him? We know he's got the ability to, you know, to be tackling the black type races, but which one? I don't know about the black type, I'm just waiting for them, the Mazda races to come around. I want to win one of them. <laughs> you've got to win that car, you've been so close. Yeah, close is never good enough though, is it? <laughs> and also, we, we saw a nice uh, fast net rock colt here, um, a two-year-old that's yet to be uh, named. Uh, tell us a little bit about him. Uh, yeah, uh, Brad bought him in, uh, in Queensland. Uh, look, he's a lovely colt. He's, he's, uh, He's done everything right. Uh, we brought him here mainly for experience and uh, no, really pleased with him. I think he's a lovely guy.